Texas 95.7, the arm of Dylan Craig Vaughn in the studio. It is Tuesday, and we're back at it with the WRCA, Lehman Wall, and Casey Hooper in the studio. Hello. Hi. Where y'all been? I've been at a convenience store. If, someone, <laughs> if the police show up, I didn't do it. I'm just saying. It's See, she'd be, she'd, be, she'd be terrible. I wouldn't even go in there. See, she, she immediately just, had to admit she up. didn't do it. You know what that means? <laughs> she did it. I bet your parents caught you every she single did time. It. They did. She did it. <laughs> they did. C- Casey's friend said, I don't want to go out with Casey. She'll, she'll get us in trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry we for being sorry. We won't get away with it. Guilty for being guilty. Craig and I were sitting here in the booth, and we heard the sirens go by, <laughs> but now we know what yep. it was. Yep. Casey running down the street. If you see me running in this 100-degree weather, I am in trouble. <laughs> yes. Yep, I see people jogging this time of year. I think I'm flapping in the not, wind. Yep. Oh, I am <laughs> catching me. I have it huh? screwed down tight. Oh, basketball player got the. You still oh, got I would. The, you if, still got the steps. I have the steps in my head, but if I ran <laughs> five feet, there'd be screws and staples. That's right. and I'd be like the Tin Man running. <laughs> Just go behind me with a yard magnet, like a construction site magnet, and put me yeah. all back together. It's a good thing we don't have no, any humidity was, here. Uh, She'd rust. Little panhandling done there at the convenience store, and I was like, really? I've gotta go. But a anyway. panhandle panhandler. <laughs> poor guy, you know, mm. poor guy. Uh, I see. Okay, so uh, rodeo last weekend, right? Is that right? Yes. Where'd I, y'all I, go? I got the I got the privilege of making the drive down to Alpine. It's the Big Bend Ranch Rodeo down there, Craig. And man, if you guys have never taken a drive to that part of the country, it's a drive. Close your eyes through part of it, <laughs> but then once you get once down you get there, to it's... that part, open them wide. <laughs> Cause my gosh, it's it's just cool country and great people. This committee that we've got down there, they they are second to nobody on running an event, hospitality. Uh, I mean, they're just Chachi and and Gary and everybody down there, Maddie, Clayton, all of them. Great rodeo. This was um, uh, sixteen ranches, Craig, that competed. Man, that's so a good one, yeah. so big big rodeo and. Two night rodeo, all sixteen go both, both nights, and man, they clicked it off in a hurry and good competition. So, yeah, great, great rodeo. I was gonna say, I think I remember this one from, uh, from last. Did they? Was this the one that won that? I know you guys do like a rodeo of the year. Was it them or was it a different one? That it one was my, Haskell, ha- Texas, and Hugo, Colorado. Okay. It's been our okay. two recipients. I couldn't remember because I know this one has a nice website and everything. And they do, you know, they do, they do a great job. A lot of times marketing. you got to find something on Facebook just to find something about the rodeo. And this one is they've got their own website yeah. and pictures and results and all that good stuff. Well, yeah. thanks to going back and using those tools, Craig, yeah. because people do have websites. It's not all <laughs> on the fad book. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Bad facts book. book. <laughs> False facts book. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun rodeo. <laughs> I wish I could have went. But that's okay, Lehman. Next time. Yes. Yes. I, that's that, okay. Of course, I'm really getting a complex, Craig, because, you know, when you pull into town and the first person that sees you says, Hey, how are you? How's Casey? <laughs> Where's Casey? Hey, good. I'm glad you're here. Casey How's doing? Casey doing? Oh I'm like, God, he needs will something you people from stop it? <laughs> no, he needs stop something. it. He, Lehman's got something for me to do. He's no. got to break some news to me, so that's why he's talking no, like no, that. No, I am serious, though. Um, we're very fortunate. You know you know Peyton, too. Yeah. Well, you're too kind. We, what we happened? Got, nothing. I'm, I mean, I'm, like, did you have some grilled good jerky or something? <laughs> no, no. Well, see, and I didn't even have any strawberry pie this trip. So, well, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> but no, we're we're for I'm we're fortunate that we got a good team, and then when we get to go to these rodeos, Craig, it's like I texted a friend. They, they, he asked me, "Where you at?" I said, oh, "I'm you know an Alpine at a rodeo working." I said, "Well, so I mean they pay me to do yeah. this, so I guess I, it it is called work." Technically, but yeah. Technically, it, yeah. Is, it is work. But this rodeo was really interesting because when you look at the times and the scores. There was a lot of movement going on. You know, usually after Friday night, you kind of got an idea, okay, these folks have separated themselves. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen Friday. Everybody had a shot, and everybody had their good moments, and everybody Mm -hmm. had some challenges. 
Then you come around on Saturday, and again, there were just some flip-flops. Some, some people had a mishap. Some people had some fortunate steps. And in the end, you know, there, there was a winner that kind of separated themselves by only six points from the group. Then when you went down second, third, fourth, there were literally like two points okay. separating everybody. Yeah. Close one. So lots of uh, ranches got in the game at different times. And you, you ready for you? Do we want to go ahead and say who? Yeah. Is that what we're doing now? Yeah, Boss yeah, man? because, yeah, because okay. we're going to, I guess we're going to call somebody. Yeah. I didn't even ask you off the air yeah. who we were calling today. So first, first place turned out to be Smith Cattle Company. And, and that's Clint Jackson and uh, lots of his, his boys, Colton Wesley, and then Taylor Burkett, Sheldon Fields, and Monty Tickle. They all, Walked away with that win, so congrats on getting qualified. And we're going to get to – this is interesting because Clint, Casey Clint – Was not there. Was not there. And the boys showed up. The boys stomped it, and, and now Clint gets to do the interview. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him a hard time about that because he took the dirty la- – they took his dad's dirty laundry down there, cleaned it, and he can't, he can't be mad if the socks don't fit now. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so we're going to, we're going to talk to – who the, are we talking to? the Clint Jackson here. Clint Jackson. Yeah. What All was right. that? The streak? Oh, I'm sorry. That was <laughs> Detweiler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just saw I saw some of someone run by real quick. You were yep, out the window. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that was Detweiler. Inside joke. All right, let's give let's give him a call. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone, we got him. Uh, Clinton Jackson. The uh, con- ghost. <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> con- yeah. Congratulations, Clint. I'll say that right up front because you might not get any more nice words. <laughs> right. I, we, we appreciate it. Thank you. Well, on a serious note, though, congratulations because Smith Cattle's been going down the road with us for a while. But people that don't know you guys, Clint is the father of two of the guys on the team that they won Alpine. They they, <laughs> they, won, won, they Alpine. won Alpine. And he decided. <laughs> To not go and look at what the hell happened. <laughs> you know, I, I think they're, they're probably going to make me retire. It says, uh, <laughs> I was say, Clint, are you coming in November? <laughs> or are they leaving you home? Oh, well, I'll be there. I just don't know if I'll get to do anything. <laughs> hey, you know what, Clint? The first thing I, uh, when Lehman told me that you guys had qualified, the first thing yeah. in my head was, I bet Wesley, I bet Wesley and Colton, I bet. That was a cool call for them to have to be able to call their dad and say they oh, pulled yeah. it off. That's, and all joking. They, they, they were tickled. That's yeah. All, all jokingness aside, you guys, I've watched these kids. Wesley carried the WRCA flag one year when he was still in school, like little, like maybe elementary school, maybe right at the beginning yeah. of junior high when we were at Groover. Right. And that right. flag was huge and it rained and it was heavy and he just stepped up to the plate and Colton's got grit and so I just want to say congrats to you before now I'm going to rib you what the hell were you thinking it's Alpine <laughs> were you having to babysit Colton's new baby no somebody uh, had to stay home take care of a bunch of yearlings coming in so well I figured I'd stay and let them I hadn't been doing much this year anyway so I figured I'd let them go mm-hmm. yeah, I was staying off I was standing there whenever the boys got to dial that that phone to yeah, you, that's cool. and and I just kind of sat back and and watched because as soon as they got to a spot that they could, that was the first thing they did was call I knew, Dad, I knew. and that was pretty cool. And, and well, it's it's me, it's me getting to go to the, to the rodeos. Period. I mean, that's our golf game. That's what we do to go have fun. But when you get to go with your kids. That, that we've been raised in this and around these guys uh, that they look up to and you help train them. And, and you get to go and they finally get to have them compete with, in my opinion, with the guys, the guys that do what we do, they're the best in the world. That, that's who goes to these rodeos. At, at any time, there's not a team going that can't win. It's that's gotten right. so tough. And to, be, to, 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 to get there and be at that level, it's, a, it, it's really a good feel. Well, I just have to say, how cool is that? Not only, and I, I don't know, I'm walking all over the board here, but since we're on the topic, not only did Smith Cattle go out with a win, but Clint's son, Colton, walked away with top horse and top hand. Mm. Now, at one of our very tough rodeos, and I'll let Lehman 
get into all the nice fancy words, but that gives, <laughs> right. that gives me goosebumps. I, there's no oh, other words to, to, to say. I mean, holy crap. And he just became a father like two weeks yep. ago. Something Again. Like that. Yep. Again. Uh-huh. Yep. Again. Yeah, it, it, matter of fact, he, that's, why, that's why we didn't have him for part of the rodeo at uh, Amarillo. Yes. Uh, July 4th. Yeah, he, he missed the second night because they decided yeah. to, you know, go ahead and have, have the little baby. booger that, that night. So. Well, Lehman, on a woman's perspective, you can't stop the floodgates when it's coming. <laughs> it's not like Dad didn't say, hold it on, just wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue with yeah. the big words. <laughs> but no, you, you, got, you, got, you got it right on the top hand, top horse. And, you know, Clint, you touched on how competitive – this, this deal is when you have folks that do this for a living every day and they're prideful in it they're, they're riding good horses they're obviously good at what they do when you throw 16 of those into a rodeo you're going to see some outstanding competition and that's what i'm sure the guys broke it down for you already ever ever ranch at one point got in the game on this deal it was spread out all over everywhere Friday night, you know, who was going to, who was going to come around Saturday and grab it. And, and your guys right. just did that. I mean, they took a hold of it Saturday and, uh, the That's spread, the spread was not, was nothing. I mean, the spread was six points, right? You know, six, eight points between y'all and red wine, Sp- uh, spike box, red wine. Well, that and New Mexican sitting next to you can't do a damn math. Yeah, yeah, it was it was <laughs> tight. You know, you guys, Colton won the bronc riding. You you tied, mm-hmm. you tied for first. There were a lot of ties in this rodeo, Craig. Uh, you guys, Smith tied for first in the doctrine, got third in the cow milking, which I want to talk about their cow milking here in a minute. <laughs> they they tied for third in the branding. Okay, so first, first, third, third. Sorting didn't go so well for the guys. Uh, yeah, Friday night in the sort. Yeah, sorting was a little tough on them, but uh, first, first, third, third. That's a you solid know, rodeo. That's solid. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's, 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 that's right. I mean, usually you don't have that many firsts. Usually you got some second, third, sometimes fourth thrown mm-hmm. in there. And right. bronc riding, I mean, it came down a little bit. It was bit. tight. It yeah, was tight. It, and, he, and let me tell you what. Jamie's, Colton knows every bronc this side of the Rio Grande. If it's anything to do with Jamie or McCloy's or anybody, he guys mm-hmm. elderly men, elderly men, <laughs> crap with me, twenty five year olds, thirty year olds, go to Colton and ask him yeah. what's this horse do? Yeah. Well, well he's, he's you know, been on most of them at one point. Well that's the deal, that's what it's about. You, you know, you help, try to help the guys out. Yeah. You know? Well I, 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 going to compete let's compete to try to compete on equal level and, and everybody have a shot at it. right and and you, you guys if you've ever if you've ever been to one of these rodeos of ours anyway and i know it happens elsewhere but i i sit back and i watch the way that all of our ranches interact and and colton if if a bronc rider needs anything during any part colton's there to help him doesn't matter if it's on front side back side just support whatever colton's a guy you can count on to yes sir. you know to, he's a team player not just for smith cattle but it doesn't matter the well, guy riding against no. him that's about ready to beat him colton would give him any tip necessary in order to beat him well and so sammy right. joe and clint has done a good job they got that other son wesley he can rope the snot out of some cobwebs i'm telling you the boy can catch flying spiders <laughs> The guy is the guy is good. He ropes good, and they're laughing at me. Supposed to be able to. Well, did he did he get that from his daddy? I would like to say so, but I think he just worked it. He did, and gosh darn it, we talk about Colton a lot. Wesley, he has no feet to. I mean, he's got it going on. They're coming. Well, in. yeah, we kind of got on Colton because yeah. he won those well, we, top horse we, top hands. We switched some things, or that, I say we, they switched some things up at Claremore, uh, changed some things up, and it worked pretty good at Claremore. They did it against Alpine. Uh, Colton roped the cow. We're typically, 
you know, Wesley usually just rubbed the cow for the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're, we've been having trouble stopping the cow. The cow uh, you know, when our guy gets a, hook, Colton gets a hold of her, she's still moving out. So we swapped it around, and Colton shelled on the rope the cow. Wesley has been getting a hold of them, and we get them shut down a lot quicker. And that's, I think that's helped the bunch. It's like taking a freight liner in a Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah. Wesley is going to be the exactly. freight liner, and he's going to yeah, stop yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, if Wesley gets his hands on her, she's just like a- she's done. The the milking, uh, Clint. I know you you weren't there, but you will remember from previous years the milking down there. Uh, it's already crazy, but they actually turn two out at a time. Right. So, Craig, I know you've seen mm-hmm. our wild cow milking. Mm-hmm. How crazy that is. But literally from each corner, they turn a cow out. And it's like crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Here we go. Let's try not to kill each other. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's been some Ooh, wrecks. Man. Boy, has there not been wrecks in the past at Alpine, Texas? Yeah. There have. There's been several. Yeah, I'm going to through the years. Well, good job. Clint, I wanted to bring something up. Here we are bragging yep. about your guys on the, on the ranch. And they should because they were there and, and they took it. But. I saw a, a little post and that uh, came around after this rodeo was done. So Colton Jackson in 2000 or 2020 from Smith Cattle wins both the top horse and the top hand awards. That's not his first time. Right. Daddy mm-hmm. won both of those awards himself in Alpine five years ago. Yeah. I, was I think 15. that's right. Right, Clint? Mm-hmm. I think that I think it's five. Yeah, in yes, 2015. Yeah, so he wasn't going to brag on himself, but we yeah. want to brag on no, you, Clint. No. You 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 deserve a lot of credit for being the mentor and uh, teaching these boys well, over I, the years. So good job. Well, I appreciate it. If, if we don't keep if we don't keep training boys' mind and, and everybody else, we're not going to have anybody to come back and do this stuff. And uh, I think I think that's important parts about what we do is we've got to include these kids from little kids to grown kids. We've got to include them and we're, going to do something. we're not going to have anybody to carry this on. Amen. Amen. And that's that's one of the big things you know about getting everybody together and doing these rodeos. We're going to gather up in November. We're going to, we're going to put on a 25 yes, year celebration. Uh, we're going to get to have a family reunion. We're going to see everybody and we're mm-hmm. going to celebrate the cowboy lifestyle. That's what it's all about. Well, I, and that's, I want to thank y'all for keeping this stuff going this year. It's I know it's been tough on y'all to keep this rolling through all of this. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's a big deal. And I know it's a big deal for all of us because that's our getaway. That's our really. And, uh, and I, I know it hadn't been a cakewalk for y'all. I would really do appreciate it. Yes, sir. Well, congrats again. Uh, tell the guys congrats. And if y'all need anything, give us a shout. We will do. Thank y'all very much. Clint, you have a good day. It's Casey. You too. I wish we both could have been there. Okay, bye. Uh, We'll we'll be at the next one. Okay, adios. (laughs) See you, Clint. Thanks, y'all. Take care. See you, bud. All right, what else happened there? (laughs) (laughs) We might have covered it it all, but... um, it, it's a good, it's an interesting rodeo. Like I say, they do a couple things different. The wild cow yeah. milk and doing two at a time. Uh, that was, that was crazy. In fact, you, you need to ask Carol Jack about his near death experience, Casey. <laughs> next time you see him, um, the sorting, they only they do a three head sorting. Normally, it's a five head, and and so they run they run through that pretty quick. And the and the branding down there is a real tight area that they use. And so, I, I enjoyed the rodeo the way they do some things made it pretty unique uh, so again top horse top hand top horse was rowdy metallic ridden by colton jackson and colton jackson took on top hand uh some of the event winners ranch bronc riding colton with smith uh second fink foster third was rose ranch doctoring smith won doctoring then we had king sabi and detweiler heck actually uh, all all of those tied for first place Smith, King Sabi, Detweiler, Heck, and the Doctoring all tied for first. And the branding, uh, Jared Dominic plus C got in there, won that branding. And then second was a tie between King Sabi and Detweiler, Heck. While Cal Milken, another tie for first place, Spike Box, Red Wine, and Double Diamond, Seven Bar.
tied for first. Third was Smith cattle in the milking. And then in the sorting, Spike Box Red Wine first. Pitchfork Land and Cattle came in there and, and took second. And then third was a tie between Rose Ranch and Jennings Ranch. I wonder, those two are kind of new with us, Rose and Jennings. It was great to see them there, and it was great to see them get in the action. Uh, they did they did a nice job, so kudos to, to those boys. So you had Smith Cattle winning it. Second place went to Spike, Spike Box and uh, Red Wine. If you look at that team, all those guys have been with us for many, many years. And then third place went to Keen Sabe, fourth to he uh, Heck and Detweiler. Yep. Oh, boy. You're talking, okay, so second place... Craig, it was 48 points, third place 46 points, fourth place 44 points. Just a couple, yeah. Boom, that boom, is, boom, boom, that, boom. that's pretty good. I know they don't think so, but that's a pretty good rodeo. It was, it was tight. It was tight. Good competition. And congrats again to Smith, but want to say thank you to Gary Dunchy, Chachi, everybody down there at oh my Big gosh, Band Ranch Rodeo Committee. The work that they did, Jeff Donna Gore down there cooking and, and providing cowboy hospitality, doing cowboy church on Sunday morning. Oh, it was just a great weekend for well, getting you, together. You had your RHAA, you had your youth, John and Marianne put on that deal. Yep. Uh, and so now we've we're leaving Alpine, and we're now headed to Arizona, who's, Camp Verde, Arizona. Who's going? One of our board members that lives out there. I uh, I happen to I just googled the the forecast for this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if this is the one of those cooler no, spots of Arizona. No. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is in some sort of national forest, and uh -huh. uh, it does seem like a neat place to go visit. There is some kind of African uh, wildlife park there where you can go see zebras and lions and stuff oh, like that. I thought that. we were going to have to eat grub worms on a grape leaf and with just the, eat them with their hands. They're calling for a high 107. You, in the you think that'd work? <laughs> yeah. You tried that with me in the parking lot at Cornette's. You saw how that worked. So then we roll from Arizona. Then we go to Guthrie, Oklahoma, for the OCA, mm -hmm. Oklahoma Cattlemen. Then Roaring Springs, and then back to Arizona, to mm. Yavapai. And that kind of that kind of gets us through into September. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, like the first of September. But hey, you know what we forgot? What did we forget? We forgot something very important. We forgot to. I'm gonna take the time right now to congratulate. We just had one of our team members bite the big old marriage bullet. And congratulations to Peyton. And they did it right. They did do it right. They did it right, Lehman. You were there. <laughs> I was for. Yeah, it was you know a great how to poke her. <laughs> Thanks to you. Thank you Thanks very much. You. She's a good teacher. <laughs> no, I'm not a good teacher. But congratulations, Clayton and Peyton. Um, and then thank you to Oliver's. We had that three in one oh, yeah. July 25th. Yeah. And the proceeds from that go to the foundation. And I just want to talk two seconds about that. Mm -hmm. I realize that we're all in the middle of the COVID stuff and everyone's feeling whatever but worse he'll have to do business and there's still scholarships and there's still crises happening and so if you feel it in your heart to send a donation our way that stuff isn't going to go away just because the world is in a little bit of turmoil right now mm -hmm. as of tomorrow um, we'll be starting there's 36 scholarship applicants 25,000 will be wrote just tomorrow in the office going out from Sheridan, Wyoming, to Idaho, to South Dakota, to Texas, West Texas A&M, Texas A&M. Thank you, Mr. I Wall. I if you were actually going to say it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I just wanted to let people know, yes, we've been soaked on the rodeos and we've been soaked in championship coming up, but we're still doing business. And without your dollars, we can't make that difference. So mm -hmm. just wanted to add that two cents That's in good. That's good. And the the... The raffles we've got, the Oliver Saddle, mm -hmm. and the the rifle that is engraved by Dale Bass, those can be bought on our website. So yes. if you're looking to get your raffle tickets, go to wrca.org. And, and for the first year ever, you can actually buy those online, which is cool. Which it is a very big plus for us. Or you can call the office and we can just take your credit card and send you some. Yeah. Yep. 
You don't need to be present to win. But you do have to be 18 and over, Craig, to win the rifle. That leaves me out. I know. But you can fake someone else's name. (laughs) (laughs) I did not say that. If you are listening, government big brother. (laughs) I'm going to be 18 and over again. Go back and bleep that out. A lot of exciting stuff. I don't know. WRCA.org. WRCA.org. All your, G money. Your, your, your ticket info, your hotel info, everything. Schedule. Yes, yes, yes. And Casey, why yes. don't we do this? And, you, and amongst all of the stuff going on in the world, we are so blessed to be a part of this, this WRCA deal. And thank you to all of the sponsors and donors, individual and corporate, everybody that is supporting WRCA's mission. We actually have had two new sponsors come on oh, here in, in the last little bit I want to give a shout out to butler beds uh, they have been a part of our event in the past they've been a part of our ranch expo casey uh, but they have jumped out and and wanted to be a sponsor with us so kudos there uh, james and jennifer thank y'all and then this is very unique it, it might surprise or jessica i said jennifer just thinking of cavenders uh, red river ski area hmm. And Red River, New Mexico, has actually joined us as a sponsor. Cool. So that's very unique. They wanted to support the cowboy lifestyle and get some branding. So thanks to Butler Beds and Red River Ski Area. Sure, there are plenty that? of people I who ski they, and they're cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> so you know, it's well. surprising because people don't think New Mexico does anything really good nowadays. But look what happened. Mexico rocks. Yeah, but... <laughs>